Yo, what's up? It's Omari Harbin. Um, I'm doing this video to show you how easy it is to create a course using Squarespace member areas, an online course using Squarespace member areas. Um, now, it's a lot different than if you were going to use an all-in-one uh, online course builder, like let's say Teachable or Teachery or Podia or even Thinkific. Um, in terms of you're not going to get all the bells and whistles that you get um, with those platforms. However, if you just want to gate some content and have it so that someone has to log in to access the content and they can go through it at their own pace um, and still leave comments, uh, then I think this members areas feature is is great for that. And so um, it's my first time creating a course on Squarespace. I mean, using Squarespace um, because this didn't exist uh, a couple years ago. But now that it, it exists, I figured I might as well try it out. Um, so that's what I'm doing here for our template shop accelerator. Um, but another thing I want to know is the pricing. So uh, the the member area pricing, you can check it out here. The biggest thing is the transaction fee. So um, let's say I'm doing it monthly. Uh, it's 10 bucks a month for one member area, which I currently have. You can see here, it's just one member area. Um, and so if my course is $200, that means I'm paying an additional uh, $14 a month per transaction on top of that $10 a month. So let's say I get um, 10 people in this course this month. That's, addition, that's an extra $140 that I'm paying, um, you know, on top of this $10 a month. So at that point, maybe I might want to switch over to the core, but I'm still paying 4% transaction fees, which could add up pretty quickly. Um, and then I might have to level up to the pro, right? Which by the time I get there, then I might want to actually consider uh, maybe a Podia where there's zero transaction fees um, or even tea tree zero transaction fees um, think of it zero zero transaction fees um, and uh, teachable has a five percent transaction fee for their for their basic plan so um, you know my point is um, I think it could be a great starting point to perhaps, you know, test and trial a course. And then as your course grows, then you might want to think about transitioning to an all-in-one platform if um, Squarespace doesn't change their pricing model by then. Um, so anyway, let's get into the how this is set up. So if I were to add an additional uh, member area, I would have to upgrade the plan. So I'm not going to do that now. Um, but let's let's check this out. So I can add pages here. I can add, you know, different kinds of content. I can add like a members only store. Um, but let's check out the settings. So this is where you set up your fee. Um, whether you want to have a recurring thing, um, one time or even a free course. Um, you set that up there and you create your course name description and you can edit your access denied screen so let's say someone you know tries to access your course content um, without logging in or being a member um, you know they'll get something like this and you can edit all of that here um, the default is pretty good then you got to navigate all the way back to here and let's go back and check out the global settings for your course member areas. And so this is where you can, um, you know, you can manage members once you get them. I don't have any yet. You can create new ones. Um, like I just showed you, I'm not creating anything new. But the first thing you're gonna wanna do is set up your payments. Um, so I've done that. And uh, let's see what else is there over here. It's a bit of navigating around, but um, I'm gonna share my experience with them. Um, so yeah, you can set up your payments, uh, discounts. Uh, let me move myself out the way. Um, let's see, customer notifications. So when someone signs up, you know, the emails that they get, 
Uh, there's a lot you can play with here and you can edit. You can edit the overall styles of these emails. Um, I'll show you what that looks like over here. All right, so you can, you can make this look and match the theme of your site. I'll probably end up doing that. Um, you can also edit your business settings so that people know, uh, you know who these emails are coming from. Uh, let's go back to member areas. And then so this is what your, your course students are going to see when they sign up. So you can, uh, you know, maybe you want them to do some something else. You can add that here. Uh, so there's a lot that you can customize with, with the notifications, which I think is pretty useful. Let's get back to our member areas. So there's a couple ways you, you can see I've gotten to it. I've gotten to it from the member area settings and then I'm clicking on the global settings and then I've gotten there from settings and then member areas and I'm, you know, these are shortcuts to your commerce, all your commerce stuff anyway. Um, and then here there's some, some settings, right? So when someone is logged in, um, Right now, it's going to replace this main navigation with uh, what they now have access to. So let me see if I can demonstrate that. I hope I can. So someone logs in uh, to the course, and now they see here in the navigation, they see the lessons, um, the Slack community link. And so now they, they're looking at a different um, navigation than they would if they uh, were logged out. So there's that option. And then there's also uh, the option not to show any change in navigation. Um, and then also you can show this up in the customer account panel. So when someone logs in and um, I didn't uh, try this out beforehand, so it might not might not work in my favor. Let's try. Yeah, okay, it's not going to work out. Um, but they would see that in their uh, account panel, they'll be able to click and access that content. So uh, that's a that's a little cool feature there. Um, and then that's pretty much it. So when it actually comes to the course content now, I'm using a blog. And um, in order to get the lessons to be in in order, um, uh, I've done it by date. So, you know, the, 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 the earliest lesson is the latest, right, February 10th. And then the latest lesson is the earliest February one so that I can get them all lined up. And then I simply add my course content like I'm adding a blog. So let's click edit. Um, and then I'm going to, you know, upload some videos to YouTube uh, unlisted. And then I can add those those videos here. Um, and then add, you know, additional commentary or content. Uh, and make it kind of dynamic. Um, so it's it's really flexible. And I like the fact that, you know, you don't have to go somewhere else. It's like a completely branded experience. Um, the same token, you know, with, with something like Podia, you can still have everything all in one. Um, but because I'm creating a, a Squarespace related course, um, I feel like it just makes sense to use uh, Squarespace's features and functionality to do it. So um, hopefully you found this useful. And um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I could be grossly oversimplifying this um, or not. Um, oh, I forgot one thing. And so then this, this is the, the sales page for the course. Um, and, you know, you click join now and boom. Um, it's going to take you to a checkout. And um, yeah, I think, 
I think it's a, a great option. So anyway, yeah, if you have any questions, um, do let me know. Uh, I don't always get to the YouTube comments as quickly as I'd like, but um, you can always email me, omari at sqsptheames.com, and I'll get back to you. Peace.